Hello, everybody. Um, so I'm sure the reason you guys are here is due to the title. Um, your TV probably loses Wi-Fi signal. Um, so for instance, say you're in Netflix. We're going to head over there now to Netflix. I'm definitely not going to be able to replicate this right now. But let's suppose you're in Netflix and you get the spinning ring of death, is like I like to call it. Um, and you're in the middle of a movie, or say it doesn't even start up. Um, but you get that, and it's extremely annoying, and you lose your place because your TV has just disconnected from Wi-Fi. So, this is actually a pretty common thing with TVs. Um, especially your cheaper TVs. Um, this is a Vizio V-Series. Uh, I believe this TV was retailing for around $550 prior to Black Friday. And there was a bunch of these that went for sale on Black Friday. Some of your other TVs like Elements and TCLs and uh, just your cheaper TVs, they all have one common association. And this even it can be the case with expensive TVs. But TVs have very cheap wireless cards inside of them. Um, and if your TV is disconnecting from uh, the internet all the time, I can almost guarantee that the router is not up underneath it in the console. So, let's suppose your cable box comes in. Uh, you, you know, everybody's got, if this is your living room TV, everybody's got that cable uh, outlet under their TV. And if they have a cable box, it comes in just below there. So, if your cable provider is the same as your internet provider, then there's a good chance that your router may be underneath there. Um, but if your TV is losing Wi-Fi signal, I'm gonna bet that it's probably not. In my case, it's in a bedroom, a third bedroom, back through there. And this is also an insulated wall right here. So that does add to buffer a little bit. But, back this way, um, approximately another 40 foot across the house is my master bedroom. And I have a much more expensive TV inside that master be bedroom than any other TV inside the home. Um, sounds a little backwards, usually it's in the living room, but um, it's a Samsung, and it was around a $1,300, $1,400 TV um, back when it first came. And I'm assuming that, that TV has a, a higher quality uh, wireless card in it. But, there's a couple things that you can do to fix it. And there's one way that's extremely easy, and that's with just a Wi-Fi booster. And I'm going to put one of those in the link. Um, uh, or, sorry, I'm going to put an Amazon affiliate link to one of those um, in the description. And if you set that up and then connect your TV to that Wi-Fi booster, it's going to produce a secondary network. If you connect to that one with your TV, I can almost guarantee you will not have the same problem if you use it in another receptacle closer to the TV. Preferably right below it, because everybody has a receptacle I say everybody, but almost everybody has one right behind that console there. Even if we use that one, we would solve this problem. There is one surefire way also to solve it, and that is to directly connect to Ethernet. So almost every single wireless TV is going to have an Ethernet port on the back of it. You can hardwire your TV to your router if it's just below there. Also, let's just say your router's not there. Out on the outside of your house, you can open up the cable box. If you have a newer home, chances are there's a home run to every single room in the house. So all you have to do is connect your router to the cable box, I mean, sorry, to the cable inlet behind your console there, directly closer to your TV or any other room that's closer to your television. If you do that, then you change the wires inside of your cable box until your wireless router connects to the internet. There will be an internet display light on it. In fact, we'll head that way now. Here's my wireless router, and that is the internet light. So as long as that light is on, that means that it's connected to the internet. So if you change your wires around and change the room that, that this goes to, then that light will illuminate green or blue, not red, um, if you've placed it right. But the surefire way will be to add a booster or a hard line, and you will never experience those problems again. TVs have cheap wireless cards, like I said, and they can easily lose connectivity through walls. It's not as quality as your laptop. Your laptop can go all over the place. You might be able to get 
you know, all the way outside in your driveway and in your car with a laptop because it has a higher quality wireless card and it's made for that type of thing. But purchase one of the things in the Amazon affiliate link and I can almost guarantee that it'll stop your problem if your TV continuously disconnects from Wi-Fi. And if you don't do that, try hardwiring it and I can almost guarantee if you hardwire it that you, your problem will be solved. And if that's not the case, then it's definitely your TV. Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed it and I hope this helps.